afternoon, our mother, Emma. Yay. And um, what, she, what she wanted to do uh, this afternoon was uh, recreate a little bit uh, her experiences when, uh, when she was a teenager in Argentina, where she was born. Um, well, she did li live in Europe for a while, but then uh, uh, they, they moved back and then she stayed in Argentina. Um, but she, she basically left home at 13 to work um, in, in music and nightclubs, and she sang with a touring um, Russian uh, gypsy troupe called Los Cosacos del Don. There's another famous group called Don Cossacks, but that's that's a diff, diff, totally different group. Um, but but this group had um, uh, all kinds of musicians and singers. And she, because she was so young, she was considered la mascota, the mascot. <laughs> and uh, they all kind of watched after her. And you know they would call her uh, Tatiana or 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 sorry, uh, Tanyushka. And she would go and do her special songs. So we're going to recreate a little bit, and uh, I'm going to warm things up here, um, and uh, with, uh, with a little interaction here, uh, and you you'll see. So get your singing voices because we're going to get you singing. <laughs> oh, I need glasses. You can join in. If you want. Thank you. 
doesn't know what it means to buy device. What does it mean? The real estate. Give. Give. <laughs> yeah, I mean, go into it. Give, yeah. Give money. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you know, like the gypsies who go around. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 
with us. You
Thank you. 
just take a short break and uh, my mom has some tango CDs uh, for sale, $10 each for those interested. Thank you. that they 
used in the streets. And I have been looking for this thing for 10 years, and I finally found one. And uh, the way it works is it uses, uh, this is called a reproducer. That's from uh, the 78s. Remember the old 78s that you wind up? And what they did is they took those, stuck it in here, and like those 78s that, that the they had, the, yeah. Yeah. the Victrolas, and then they put a trumpet horn on it. It's, it's very weird. And it's, yeah. it's strange to play. So that's why I had asked, I'm going to just, I don't know how it sounds because it's very directional. I've never seen one or played this. No, but this is, this is what they do with Romania. And in fact, I even have, uh, I was going to have my daughter, she didn't know it, was play along because the traditional Romanian way is to have a, a drum with a cymbal and they just go, da, 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 and the violin plays down. But I'm not sure how it's going to sound. It's very funny that if you point it to someone, it's loud, yes. but now it's loud for you, right? Well, it's not loud now. So now it's loud over there. It's very directional. What they used to use this for also is uh, when the 78s, uh, the 78s, when they recorded, it was hard to, for a violin to record because you couldn't focus the sound. So they would take the horn and put it right into the microphone. That's why sometimes in the 78s, the string sound really funny. <laughs> and that's because Stro invented it, and then uh, this called the Stro violin, and then the Romanians uh, made a, you know, made their own version. So I'm going to play it again. It's, it's, it's still very strange to play. It's, as you can see, it doesn't have a body. So it makes it very difficult to find your way around. <laughs> yeah, so there, there, there's no cover for the, for the resonance. It's very weird. So I'm not, I'm not going to play it too much, but it's very interesting. So. <laughs> Because keep in mind, the sound goes from here into this thing, and it goes into this thing. So I have no idea what it really sounds like. That's good. Does it? <laughs> I, I don't even know. It, yeah. Well, see, the the original one also had another uh, little horn coming out this way so that the yeah. person can hear it. Oh. You know, but this is a Romanian one. They didn't think of that. They just so. 
You could actually hear the thing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, to me, it wasn't very loud at all. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, it's, I, I thought I'd you know, show you something uh, interesting. Because, because it looks odd. <laughs> Because it looks odd, I expected it to be odd. And after you play for oh, about yeah. 30 seconds, then you get, you get used, used to it. it. You get yeah. used to it. Yeah. And, and if my eyes were closed, I would have thought you were playing your violin. Really? Yeah. It actually, to my ear, has a quality like an old 78 with a yes. great big yeah. 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 horn on it that's what's so it famous. sounds old. So yeah. it, was, it has that quality to it. It doesn't, I don't get brass. Yeah. You know, it's it's kind of right. I don't get brass at all. It's really no. surprising. Yeah, isn't it something? Well, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, very fun. much. But it's very strange to play, I, I have to tell you. I mean, I mean, it's it's very <laughs> playing violin my whole life and then switching to this weird thing. It's just, <laughs> it, it's different, you know, so. Is it heavy? This particular one here, you know, if you want, you can, you can even pass oh, no, it around if you want. I mean, you well, can try you it. You can play it and you can hear it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you, you want to play something? No. Uh, no. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 What would I play? I mean, Whatever you want. Anything. Twinkle, what, twinkle, what anything. Beginning? So anything you can hear so it. You, can hear it. Once you, try it. <laughs> you know, I don't know what it sounds like. She knows I don't know what it sounds like because it's like. You should have asked her before. Oh, that's cool. I think she did great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I at least have been practicing on it a little bit to get used to, but to just jump in, you know, it's it is. Lower too. It's yeah, it's weird. It's, weird. it's well, very weird. It's, it's very weird. It's, well, thank you. it's different. Yeah. It also reminds me of some of the old movies. You know, when they have some gypsy scenes or early like Eastern think of Charlie European Chaplin. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some movies like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a Charlie like, Chaplin thing. That's you know? the sound I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Cool. Well, thank you. Very cool. No problem. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. It's, it's weird. <laughs> if you, if, you didn't yeah. introduce who she was. That's my daughter. I know. You didn't introduce her. Oh, I didn't. I'm oh. Christina. Christina. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you. She's nine years old. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. Now I I'd like to play something. Uh, one of my my mom loves movies, the, the older movies. Uh, there's a older movie. I'm not sure if you've ever seen it. It's based on the Dostoevsky novel, The Brothers Karamazov. Uh, there's an old movie. It's with uh, Yul Brenner. Um, I forget who, who else is in there. Uh, Richard Basehart. There's even a young William Shatner as a priest, if you can believe that. Um, uh, Claire Bloom, you know, it's all, all, all from that. Maria Schell. Maria Schell, uh, from that era. But anyway, this is a Gypsy Waltz from that movie, and then we'll segue into um, a special song. <laughs>
sound like movie music, which it is. Mm -hmm. right? uh, by Branislav Kaper. Maybe you don't know the name, but he wrote other famous um, uh, movie themes from the, there's a movie called Intermezzo, I think, mm -hmm. and there's some other, no, that wasn't Intermezzo, but a similar uh, composer. But I think we'll try this one song, and then we'll do Toliko Gas after, after that. <coughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Actually, was made famous uh, when he sang the Russian Gypsy music. It was well, he died very young. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with him from Russia, Dmitry Hlorostovsky. Some of you know him. He was uh, he did uh, <clears throat> like Eugene O'Negan and other operas like that. He was great Russian baritone, and he died quite young, but. Uh, he also sang like the more lighter mu uh, music. Uh, so he did uh, a concert. He sang Ochi Chornia, Dark Eyes, and other popular songs. And, my, and I brought her a, a video of this. It's an older song, but he sang it. And, and she said she had to sing this song. Mm -hmm. but, which one you got all sorts of yeah, they're all in order. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you for my daughter playing it because it doesn't sound as bad out there. <laughs> but when you're playing the thing, it sounds I mean, weird. If you want to come by and after the, you know, and, and, and just go like that, you'll see what I mean. It's so strange to play. Yeah. Something next to bagpipes. Oh, 
It's originally a Russian gypsy song. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think the composer, David Raxson, who probably was of a Russian background, and probably knew that melody because it's a very famous melody. Um, he took that and in the 60s, he added the English words and then it was made fun, no, made famous by the, the English uh, um, singer, Mary Hopkins, or Hopkin. <laughs> Well, since you started the uh, Chardash, why don't we finish that? Sure. Or do you want to? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, as we're playing all this stuff, especially on violin, um, it's not what you play, it's how you play it. Because there's a certain style. Like even uh, that when you wiggle your hand, that's called vibrato. Well, the gypsy vibrato tends to be fast and sometimes really wobbly. So we're really trying to recreate the gypsy sound. Yeah, it's not the type of vibrato you would use in class. No, or... no it's not that kind of a sound. It's different. You know? And plus, there's a thing that we do, you know, like, uh, it's not considered good to, uh, like, Well, I'm jiffy. You do all these little slidey things, and it's a completely different sound. So take it away. Thank you. 
enjoyed this uh, gypsy program, especially in the Russian side, you know. That's why I had to go fast so you could say I was Russian. Uh, <laughs> and if you, it, if you said it was too fast, if I played it any slower, then it would be half fast. Picture. <laughs> 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 oh, picture.